Someone recently asked, where should I hang my wedding photos? I'm Althea, your feng shui coach and expert, and today I wanna give you both a simple and more in-depth answer to this question. So the simple answer would be that you can hang your wedding photos in the relationship corner, either in your bedroom or in the relationship corner of your entire home. So the way that you locate that is by standing in the entryway of your home or your bedroom and looking for the farthest right corner from your entryway. Now, each room in your home has a relationship corner. And as I said, the entirety of your home has a relationship corner. Now, if your relationship corner in your home happens to be in the bathroom, well, maybe that's not gonna be a place where you want to hang your wedding photo, right? So you want to, uh, of course, be practical and hang the wedding photo in a place that makes sense. If your um, relationship corner of your home happens to be in the living room, well, maybe that would be a nice place to showcase your love. Um, so that is one simple way of looking at this, but a more in-depth way to, of looking at this is thinking about what your intention is at this current time for your relationship, right? So let's say that you are looking to bring more passion into your relationship. Then you may want to work with the fame and reputation area, which is also connected to fire chi and passion and the heart. Um, so you may hang it there and that's located in the top middle area from the entryway so the far middle wall from your entryway to your bedroom or your entire home depending on what makes the most sense right now let's say that you you really want to see your relationship as like full of abundance and what that could mean is that you see you and your partner as both deeply rooted deeply grounded and that you both provide each other the ability to be rooted as well as to continue to grow and expand and to just be full in your relationship and in your identity, you know, your identity as yourselves, and just like a tree. And so then you would want to place that, that image of the two of you in the wealth and abundance corner, which is in the top left corner from either your bedroom your entire home or any room in your home right now let's say that you're wanting to start something new together maybe you want to have another child together then you could put that photo in the family gua um, which is you know the the left wall in the middle located in the middle left wall when you're standing in your entryway now let's say that you really feel like you and your par partner have a strong spiritual connection then you could hang that picture in the um the self-cultivation and spirituality corner which is the bottom left corner from your entryway so it might be on the same line same wall as your entryway now let's say that you really see your partner as having a strong role in your path in life then you could hang that photo in the career path and life area. And let's say that you see your partner as a really helpful person in your life and you also want to see yourself as a very helpful person to your partner. So then you could hang that photo in the benefactors area, the bottom right corner of your room. Now, when we move into completion, Let's say that there is something between you and your partner that you would like to see resolved. Maybe it's like how, how maybe you two have been struggling with how to deal with your finances. Um, maybe there's just been some ongoing you know, point of conflict that you would like to see 
you and your partner resolve in a more harmonious way. Well, you could hang that photo in the completion area to represent that to you and your partner. So you see, this can continue to change. Like your intention in your relationship can continue to evolve. And so your, your wedding picture um, doesn't have to be fixed in one place if you don't want it. If you do, that's totally okay. I am giving you this information so that you have a very um, a clear understanding of, of the flexibility that feng shui can provide and, and the really the, the deeper value of it is the intention that you, you hold when you make a change in your environment. Has, ha, makes that change far more powerful. So if you've already hung your photos and you're feeling like you, you want to create a shift in the relationship, you could consider moving those wedding, wedding photos if they're already in a particular spot. Um, or, you know, you can just, if you haven't hung them, you can keep this in mind as you do so. Another thing you can do is choose a, a wedding frame that correlates with the colors in the Bagua for that particular area in the Bagua. So that's another way of adding even more intense intention and activating that particular area. So I would love to know where you choose to hang your photos after learning this or where you, maybe you can look at where did I actually hang my photos? What gua, what gua are they in? You know, another sweet thing that you can do um, is include your wedding vows with the photos. Like you could have an additional frame for those wedding photos or you could, you could put those, uh, sorry, vows, um, you could place those vows within within the frame if you don't necessarily want them to be highly visible. I know this is what I did because me and my husband did not like, <laughs> we did not like our wedding photos, so we chose to represent our relationship by having our vows in our relationship area. Um, so yeah, let me know where you have chosen to place your wedding photos. Um, and please, by all means, like this or share this with somebody who you think might be intrigued. Um, you know, your your comments and feedback really do make a difference. And I appreciate that so, so much. As always, have a gorgeous day with lots of love. Ciao!